Hi, I'm Reva with Makeup Designery, and today I'm going to show you a Lady Gaga look from the Poker Face video. And these are the colors that I have suggested to achieve this look. To achieve this look, I'm going to first apply foundation to her face. I'm going to use the WB2 Cream Foundation. This is her color. I've already taken some of the product and put it on to my palette using the 940 foundation brush. I'm going to start right here place the product there and of course right here under the eye. I'm going to do a stippling motion. So in order to do that contouring, I really need to get a flawless base. I'm going to have her turn her head a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to blend all the way down into her neck. The last thing you want is what I like to call the floating face. So I'm continuing to stipple this makeup into the face and all the way into the hairline. We're going to be applying a wig later on, so if it does get onto the hair around the hairline, that's really not a problem. I'm going to definitely put foundation on her lids. That's going to create a very nice base for later on when I use those shadows on her eye. What's better, sponges or brushes, using a foundation brush, and I suggest using the brush just because it's an investment, it lasts longer. I find that the application is softer and smoother, and brushes can be cleaned. Sponges definitely carry a lot of bacteria. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a mixture of two powders. So I'm going to use a combination of the shell and the buttercream. I'm going to lightly dust all over the face. This is just going to set the makeup and make it look very soft, flawless, smooth. That's exactly what we're looking for. The talc and this powder is going to absorb the moisture of the foundation. Chin up a bit, so I'm going to powder her neck as well. Now I'm going to use my Poker Face palette. Um, I'm going to do some contouring along the cheeks. So we're going to do that with these two colors. This is Rose Beige and this is Cool Mauve. And I'm going to use my 700 contouring brush to do this. I'm going to start right here on the cheekbone where the ear is. And I'm going to pull the product toward the lip line. I want to use a little bit and build back and forth. So I'm going to take my Cool Mauve, which is a little bit more of a pink tone, I'm going to go over top of it, kind of brushing upward. Same as that, that stippling motion. Same to the other side. Now the, this brush is awesome. It grabs the cheekbone, so it's going to do the work for you if you put it in the right place. I'm now going to use my 710 brush. This is a, a blush brush. I use it for blending, and I really like to go in and blend without any product back and forward motion. When I get to the ear, I prefer to go in circles. Same with the other side. I'm going to go back to using the 700, put a little bit of the cool mauve on it, and go right back over top of what I had just blended. Going back to the 710 brush, which is my blending brush, I'm going to just blend that color in with no product on it. Right along the hairline. Also, I'm going to have her chin up, and I'm going to do the same thing with both products. Go ahead and just lightly dust where her jawline is. Now she's very pale, so what I want to do is I want to really want to bring that color down into her neck. So the first color in the palette that I'm going to use for the eyes is apricot. I'm going to use the 340 brush, and I'm basically going to just base coat the eye. Give it a nice base. I'm choosing apricot because it's a really warm color, and we're going to be using a lot of silvers and um, a color called ice, which is this white color here. So I want to give her a warm undertone. I love this brush for uh, the eyes. I'm going to go all the way up to the brow, as again, it's just a base. 
I'm going to take a bit of tinsel with our 350 brush and I'm going to apply it in the crease. This is just going to give me a gauge of where the color is going to go. So I'm using this color because it's kind of medium in tone. I don't want it too dark. I don't want it too light because I'm just trying to create the outline of her eye. I want to go over this with a little bit of a darker color using graphite, which is this middle color right here. Same to the other eye. And ever so softly, I'm going to go right over that tinsel just to create more of definition there. I'm going to bring that color in from the outer corner inward and down toward the lash line. Just like that. So I'm going to use a little bit of the Makeup Designery Primer. I'm going to squeeze a little teeny bit out onto my palette there. And I'm going to use the same brush with no product on it, the 350. And I'm going to take a little bit of that primer and I'm just going to set it over top of the lid. What that's going to do is it's going to hold the product that I put on top of it. Go ahead and close. I'm just going to stipple it on very lightly, very careful not to move the product that's underneath it. I don't want it to look muddy all the way to the outer corner. Now I find that this dries quite easily, quite fast, so I want to apply my product on top of it right away, which is the ice. This is the 800 blending brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the ice right on top of it. So again, with that stipple motion while blending downward. I'm not going to go necessarily right over the graphite and the tinsel. I'm just going to use it as a guide. Once most of the product is where it's supposed to be, I'm going to then go right back and forth in the crease just to create a blended, soft, diffused crease. Using the crease shadow that's already there as a guide. Excellent. I like to use the 510 fanning brush, which I used as a powder brush, also to clean up any fallout that may have fallen onto the cheeks. It's great for that.